we go. My name is Pastor Diane Kirk, and I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, December the 16th, 1949. I was born uh, what we would consider the country because we raised our food and we had gardens and we had fruit trees and everything that we needed right on our land. Um, the first time I remember TV was when my grandmother bought a black and white TV. And we could only look at it on Saturdays and Sunday with my grandmother. And we could only look at Lawrence Welsh on Saturday and Ed Sullivan on Sunday. Oh yeah, and Grandma liked wrestling, so we could look at wrestling on Saturdays. Uh, it was a fun time. We was raised at a time, I was raised at a time that TV was not a priority in our home. Uh, outside, playing with the family, our cousins, um, our animals was the priority. Reading was the priority. Family time, going to church, oh Jesus. <laughs> Did we have to go to church? Grandmother didn't care if it was raining, sleet, or snow. We went to church. But it was a good thing. It was a good foundation. Um, the time that President Kennedy was assassinated, I believe I was in school or just got out of school, and it was a horrible time because he was such a nice man first, and he was a nice president. Um, it was devastating to my family, to my community, to my country. It was devastation. I didn't clearly understand why someone would be so mean or want to kill him. Uh, but in that day, it was so much hatred going on for just standing for right. And so I believe that that was that time in that period. But President Kennedy was a great president. Um, I guess TV was progressing in the family of the knowledge of communication with um, the moonwalk. Well, myself, I didn't really believe it. I think he just went to Texas into a field and they just put some things up to say he went to the moon. So <laughs> I, I really wasn't buying that one. Um, the Vietnam War was a horrible time. So many young people died um, and it ended so abruptly that made me think that if we could end it so quickly why were why did so many people have to die and what I mean by that is when President Nixon was running for re-election he ended the war and to me it's like you end the war to win to be re-elected and to me, that was so horrible. Um, so Vietnam was one of these wars that uh, so many young people and old people died. Uh, Dr. King, I didn't really understand Dr. King until recently, really later in my life. I heard about this man and he was preaching equal rights and stuff, was born in the South. The only thing we knew was to, yes ma'am, yes sir, um, to never ask any questions, just do. That's how we was raised, just to do whatever a person told us. So Dr. King, what he was trying to do uh, was to help the people think for themselves, to let us know that we could really think, we could really do something. And for that, he was killed. He was killed. But we all have a time in a season to accomplish whatever God put us on this earth to accomplish. And he accomplished that, and then it was time for him to go.
Um, all in the family was just the way it was in the world, very racist. And it told you just just how it was, so you couldn't really get upset with them uh, for what they were seeing or doing because that's what you was living every day. Uh, the Cosby's was um, make-believe because we didn't know families like that. We didn't know families that had succeeded, both husband and wife, in the home. Um, so it was uh, more of a fantasy type. But it was good to see blacks on TV. The Beatles, um, I just thought they were crazy white boys <laughs> that came from England that everybody flipped over. And maybe that time they needed, they needed the Beatles, um, but they were just a group. TV was, it was there, but it wasn't a big focus for us because again, our grandmother controlled everything and um, TV was not priority for us to be able to just sit and watch. We had chores and animals to feed and things to do and, um, and so it just wasn't. Well, when at the time that I was born, it was much safer, um, pure to watch TV. You could believe what the people were saying. Uh, you could trust them. They were um, the leaders in your community. Um, TV today is totally different. Um, they lie a lot. They um, want you to believe negative. So um, the news started off with negative, and but they say they're not negative, but they start out with nothing but death and destruction. So it's not um, it's not anything that I would rely on today. Not even the weatherman. He's shaky. You know, um, but it has changed so much. I have a dream that one day 2000